the reality has set in and that KD in all likelihood is not coming to the Knicks and neither is Kyrie, Max and Will Kane informed me of the news flash that DeMarcus Boogie Cousins could end up being the New York Knicks on a one-year deal. As if I wasn't sick enough. Don't give a damn about no Boogie Cousins in New York. The hell is that going to do for me? I'd have a better time passing gas and lowering my bloated belly rather than watching Boogie Cousins in a Knicks uniform. The hell is that going to do for me? Now, fairness to Boogie Cousins, a couple of things. In the interest of full disclosure, he and I don't like each other one bit. He don't like me at all, and the feeling's mutual. We ain't never spoke in life, and we never will in all likelihood. But I'm still not going to disrespect this man. When healthy, he can play. When healthy, he averages 28 and 12. When healthy, he's worth $150 million, which is what he's practically been cost since he tore his ACL. Or his Achilles, I apologize. It's a miracle that he came back from it as soon as he did. Came back January 18th. Everybody was telling me he wouldn't be back before April. Boogie Cousins can play. And despite our obvious distaste for one another, let me be fair. Boogie Cousins can help a lot of teams. And if you are a championship contender, you should consider Boogie Cousins. And you should pay him whatever you think he's worth. Because if he were healthy, we talking big time dollars. And the only reason why he might not warrant that right now is because we don't know how healthy he's going to be. That's it. I'm not against Boogie Cousins being a New York Nick because he's bad for locker room culture. That's a false report. I've never heard that about him. That wouldn't be fair to him. I'm not going to tell you I don't want him to be a New York Nick because he can't play because that would be a damn lie. I'm not going to tell you that you know what? He was garbage throughout the NBA Finals because that wasn't true. He had some bad games. He had some good games. He could pass. He was good defensively on pick and rolls. He was a post presence. He put some points on the board. He had about three good games out of the six in the NBA Finals. One game, two for them as far as I was concerned. He was the MVP of the game. My issue with Boogie Cousins being a New York Nick is that without KD, without Kyrie, we're talking lottery, which you need him for. That don't do anything, and especially when you were looking for it to mega superstars coming to New York City. I mean, to give us Boogie Cousins is the equivalent of giving us an injured Amari Stoudemire instead of LeBron. We know what it was supposed to be back in 2010. We know what it ended up not being. So I don't want to hear about Boogie Cousins because it brings back the wrong kind of memories. Amari instead of LeBron. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to see that. I don't want to experience it. If the New York Knicks were a playoff team, that would be different. But they're not going to be. It's not going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Not the way I'm looking. Not the what I'm hearing. It's just tough. It's just tough. And I know I tried to ward off and lay off, you know, just thinking about James Dolan as the owner, how detrimental he is to the future of this franchise. I mean, I almost get to a point right now where I think that James Dolan likes being a pariah. He actually gets off of people talking about him and wishing he were gone. Makes him want to stay more. It's 
Steve Mills and Scott Berry, I have no questions about their competence. I believe in their competence. I'm questioning one's ability to recruit with a boss like James Dolan. And I guess they can't be completely absolved either. David Fisdale came to New York. He's got good relationships. LeBron, D. Wade, swear by him. If that ends up not landing us one single free agent, how am I supposed to feel about that? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.